All right. Hey, Carly, thank you so much. Hey, we're, we've got round two with Dave Eckert coming up. But first, take a look at this beautiful Welcome new deck. Welcome to our deck. Uh, attention, Fox 4 employees. We have a brand new beautiful deck here. It's covered as well, and it's October. So we know Oktoberfest is yes. going to be around the corner. Which means, among other things, sausage. Sausages, sausage. And yep. Pat, last hour, says that you uh, sampled, he sampled one that tastes just like, like pizza. pizza. It does. It's a pizza. He was amazed by it's that. It's a pizza brought from uh, Phantasma up in, uh, up in Trimble, Missouri. It's so, so good. And, and we got new ones for this hour. So I wrote two articles okay. for Casey Holmes and Style on sausages. One for the magazine on kind of the old guard, and then one online which are a couple newer producers, and that's what we're talking about uh, in this segment. Okay. So we have the Uppercut KC, which is literally three minutes from my house. I love it. Uh, they are at 9769 North Cedar, basically just outside Liberty, and she features Aki Ushi beef from her home-style ranch, and she makes incredible steaks and roasts, but equally incredible brats, sausages, jerky, wow. burgers, dogs, and sides. Here we have burnt and brat, which Mariah Kincaid, the owner, tells me is her best seller. Jalapeno pineapple, bacon gouda, cherry bourbon, chicken bruschetta, and the aforementioned sides. These are to die for. Smoky bacon potato salad in front there, brisket mac and cheese in the middle, and lobster loaded mac and cheese. You can't go right wrong with any one of those. You can't go wrong right with there. any one of those. I'm telling you. Can even you even find her in a strip mall just outside Liberty, basically off of 291, back behind the Sonic of the QT. I know exactly where that is. Exactly. All That's right. So do I. <laughs> All right. The Italian Sausage Company, coming up on their one-year anniversary on North Oak Traffic Way. Uh, they do some incredible sausages. It's Michelle and Joe Brancato. They're oh, new yeah. in terms of the of the shop, yeah. but the Brancato's obviously have been making sausage for a long time. I recognize the name. You know, Joe has been making sausages for 30 years, and uh, they can be found on North Oak Traffic Way, as I said. At, what's their address here? I'm looking it up here. I think it's 7319. Uh, don't quote me on that, though, but it's like 73rd and North Oak. And also in Section 134 out at the stadium, formerly known as Arrowhead, whatever they're calling it now. Oh, okay. G-E-H-A? Yeah, G-E-H-A Field uh, okay. at Arrowhead. Okay, so, so you, they're you out at Arrowhead it. in Section 134. Nailed it, Dave. You nailed it. Excellent. <laughs> they're into breakfast sausages, so you got chicken apple cinnamon and pork apple cinnamon, chicken apple cinnamon crunch with walnuts, and pork apple cinnamon crunch with walnuts, chicken spadini, mild Italian sausage, peppers and onions, hot Italian sausage, and I would be remiss if I didn't point out Tony Bruno's everything sauce, which the Brancados say, think of as an Italian barbecue sauce. Oh, how about that? How about we taste these? Sure, let's okay. go. All right, I'll pull them off. This is the spadini. And this, this spadini is the burnt end brat. Try okay. the burnt end brat first. All right, burnt end brat first. Right. All right. Burnt end brat first. What do you think? I'm dancing. Kind of tastes like a burnt end. Tastes like a burnt end. All right, now try the spadini and dip it into that Tony Bruno sauce. I like a lot of sauce. Mm -hmm. Hey, before I sample this. Yes. While I'm chewing, yes. tell us about your event coming okay, up. Cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So, we've mm. got a charity over in Lee Summit called One Good Meal. For 25 plus years, they've been serving meals, delivering meals to elderlies, and it allows senior citizens to remain in their homes as opposed to going into assistive care. So it's really a good thing. They got their big uh, annual event this weekend called Gin and Jazz. It's at 6 p.m. Saturday, Harris Park Community Center in Lee Summit. They'll have live music, great food, silent live auction items in a 1920s speakeasy format. Apparently, they have only a few tables left. I'm going to be there. Oh, good. People can go to onegoodmeal.org or call 816-547-6394. And live auction items include family sports package, two nights at a Branson golf condo, boutique bourbon offering, and an original oil painting. Wow, great items. Good cause. Yes. And fun times. Fun times. Great food. <laughs> you, know, too. you know if I'm there, it's going to be great food, right? <laughs> um, you can always catch me at Casey Holmes and Style Magazine. I've got two brand new articles coming out literally this week. And then follow me on Instagram at Eats and Drinks with Dave. Good to see you, Dave. You Those 